You're right. I mean, we will turn 90 years this year, actually. So this is going to be the 90th anniversary. And for uh, almost the last 11 years, we have been the top tire and rubber products company in the world. So that is something we are very proud of. That is something which uh, is living up to the vision of the founder. Uh, he started out in Japan, but he always wanted to make a global company. That's why he did not call it a typical Japanese name. He called it Bridgestone. Uh, coming to your question about India, so Bridgestone came into India in 1997, so it's been more than 20 years now. And globally, we recognize that tires is a product which needs a very strong local connect. You need to understand the local road conditions, the weather conditions, uh, the kind of uh, cars or trucks that are prevalent in that local market. So it became very important for us to have manufacturing local. So we set up our first manufacturing base in Pitampur, near Indore, uh, making passenger car tires. And that, uh, from there we started expanding, starting out with the auto companies, starting with the Japanese, but moving on to the other auto companies and getting into the replacement space as well. The business grew steadily. India was growing at that time and uh, high quality, high technology products were welcomed by customers. Therefore, we grew rapidly. And we very soon became the leading company for the passenger car tires. And at that point, we felt the need to expand and we set up our second plant in Chakan, uh, which then also expanded to start making truck and bus radial tires. So that was the second segment that we entered in India uh, in 2013. That business uh, has also been growing steadily. So today we operate out of these two plants. Both of them are large plants and they are designed to service the Indian customers. So local for local is the credence that we use. One of the things which attracted me to Bridgestone uh, three years ago was that it had a very inspiring vision. That is Dantotsu, which is to clear undisputed leader. That is something which is at the heart of the operations across the world for Bridgestone. And in India, our vision is also to be the undisputed leader. Uh, the second thing which um, uh, attracted me to come into Bridgestone was the fact that uh, India was considered a very important market. Uh, it's a very fast growing automotive market uh, where the penetration of automotive is still low. So the growth opportunity is huge and uh, Bridgestone identified that as a focus market. Uh, since I've come, I've been very, very um, inspired working with the team here. We were already at a very strong position in the passenger car tires. Uh, we have been at number one, but we are in the top three even today. But the growing part, I mean, the truck and bus radial has been growing very rapidly for us. So going forward, our strategy in India is first and foremost to ensure that we remain the leader in the passenger car tires. And uh, this we will do by ensuring we continue to bring the latest and the best products to the Indian consumers. Being present in Europe, being present in America and Japan allows us to uh, be in sync with the global trends in the automotive industry. And uh, we are one of the first to bring that into India. So that is the strategy for the passenger cars. In the truck, we are a new entrant, truck and bus. Uh, we believe that the industry has a, a lot to develop. For one, for example, most of the world has moved on to tubeless tires for truck and bus, while in India we still use a lot of tube tire. Uh, and there are a lot of advantages of, advantages of tubeless, better fuel efficiency, better safety, less rubber consumption, so not just business-wise but environmental-wise. So one of our focus in the truck and bus radials is to ensure that we lead this change, that we help the industry move on to the tubeless side. The second thing in the uh, truck and bus especially, is uh, apart from the brand and the um, initial price of the tire, the total cost of ownership is a very uh, important aspect. Because bus fleets or truck fleets, uh, they have a few large expenses. Fuel is one of them, but tires is also a very large expense. So we believe that with our support, we can help the truck and bus fleets 
to get the best out of their tires and thereby reduce the total cost of operation. And that's why we have come in with a very unique business model, which is called Tire as a Service or Tire as a Solution, wherein we partner with select fleets and we take on the management of their tires. And instead of um, selling the tires at the first instance to them, we help them maintain or we, we take on the responsibility of maintaining the tires and in return get paid for the number of kilometers that they are using the tires. So it's quite a, a new business model in India and we believe that that is going to help us uh, not just to grow our business but to help the industry become more efficient in general. So it's exactly what I was saying. We identified that, of course, we will continue to sell tires. We'll continue to help the evolution of the products in the country. But if we want to speed it up, then we should get one step further and help with tire management. Uh, we set up our own team to do that. We have a dedicated internal team which does that. But we also realize that the market is huge right, all across the country. Uh, and apart from having the technology, we also need a service infrastructure. And uh, to help us to accelerate this growth, we were scanning around to find the right partners. And that is when we came across a company, a startup called Flika, uh, which is into tire management and which has built up already a wide service network across the country, across the main highways to be able to support the fleets. Uh, so we felt it was a, a match made in heaven and um, after uh, some due diligence we went in and um, invested in that company and now have become uh, significant partners in that business. We hope that that um, Flika and its operations will augment all the work that we are doing with our own direct organization and overall to improve the efficiency of tire management within the Indian truck and bus industry. I'll take your question in the two parts. The first part is about innovation and how uh, we work to create products right for the market. So tires, actually, that is the connect between the automotive and the road. So actually, there is a huge responsibility on us uh, because the first and foremost is safety, right? If your tire fails, then no matter what kind of safety gadgets you have in your car or in your truck, it can turn out to be a disaster. So the safety of tires is very, very important. And of course, the Indian road conditions are one of the most severe in the world um, because of the wide variances in temperature, because of the uh, very varied road conditions. You have the nice new highways and you have the off-road kind of conditions uh, and cars and trucks have to navigate both within a day usually. So we need to be very, very, um, you know, recognizing these facts. So our tire development process uh, is quite a long and involved process where it starts with understanding the customer's needs. We have a full team of people who are out in the market day in and day out, working with customers, understanding their needs. We are supported by our global R&D centers. We have four large R&D centers. The one which supports India is located in Rome, backed up by the, the main R&D center in Japan. So teams from the R&D centers work with the local teams to create a product which is right for the Indian conditions. And then there is a very, very long and rigorous period of testing on the roads, only after which we launch new products. So all of the tire products you see in India for cars or for trucks or buses, these are specifically designed for the Indian conditions. We do not take an as-is product from another market into India. Obviously, we benefit from the fact that we are present in all geographies. So we learn from there, we bring technologies which have worked for us before, and that helps us to accelerate the, the process. So I think it's a great combination of having a local presence and a global R&D support. And that has been at the core of our success so far. So that was answering the, the innovation and how we drive product development. Coming to your next question about the specific product launch that we did. So it was one very important product launch for the truck segment and specifically for the long haul cargo. It's one of the largest segments in India. It is growing very fast, you know, because uh, the road infrastructure is improving. Um, 
uh, e-commerce and logistics is improving so long haul cargo is one of the big segments there we realized that uh, the pain points of the fleets were threefold one is to have a longer life from their tires so they are looking for more mileage secondly of course fuel efficiency that's very important for them and thirdly because of the specific road conditions um, normal tires tend to get cut or chipped uh, when they are operating on and off road so how can we develop a durable tire which is resistant to this cut and chip and uh, the product that we launched the V steel mix N721 Uh, meets all of these criteria in fact it offers 15% better tire mileage and that's why it was a big moment for us to launch it a couple of weeks ago it has started very well we have received very positive feedback from all our customers and hope that it will become a mainstay of our business going forward but this is just one on one of the product launches that uh, we have done we have a full product portfolio lined up for the truck and bus segment as well as for the passenger car segment so here again i think that uh, being part of a multinational which is very very strong in the advanced markets of japan of europe and us brings us a very specific advantage uh, because uh, the electric vehicle technology is developing very very rapidly of course the leader is tesla but there are many european companies as well as japanese companies which have been producing electric vehicles and which are accelerating and uh, bridgestone has been fortu- fortunate to partner with all of them so if you look back to bmw when they launched their iconic uh, i series then uh, bridgestone was one of the big partners with our ologic technology uh, volkswagen we have been partners with them that is the global situation coming to india uh, here again we are working very closely with the oems all of them actually who are very active in the electric space and offering the technology that we have see the challenge with with the electric vehicles is uh, twofold uh, once again you need maximum uh, distance on each battery charge right that's the key for uh, electric vehicle success and uh, here again tires can play a very important role so we have come up with products which will help improve that uh, distance traveled in each battery charge by 10 to 15% that is one key criteria that ev makers are looking for another thing the electric motor behaves quite differently from a ic engine the initial torque that is put on the tires is much much higher than an ic engine and uh, that means that the tires have to be designed in a such a way that they do not get worn down or damaged so very quickly so this is the second criteria and the third criteria which is very funny actually or funny or uh, non intuitive is the noise so when you move from an ic engine to electric vehicle um, the only noise that there is is actually the the rubber on the roads and maybe some of the linkages moving because there is no combustion noise going on the motor is very very silent so suddenly uh, a criteria of noise uh, which never was a, a big thing in the past becomes very important so here too we have been working very closely uh, with many european oems to develop technology which will technologies which will reduce the noise so we feel well positioned in terms of technology to be able to bring this to the indian market we already have very strong relations with all the major oes and have been working with them so i would suggest you keep watching the space as and when the evs are launched in the market you will be sure to see some restaurant products